Yo, welcome back guys. Right, my house, still in the Christmas period. My daughter and my other half have gone out shopping. My lads are upstairs playing PlayStation. So if you're here shouting, it's that's the reason. So my whole video today is based upon this. So I brought myself, bought myself, whatever you want to call it, Echo Show 15, which is this big tablet version of an Alexa. If you watch the other videos, I've had much, much, much better internet fit in my house, which allows me, because I tried to have the Google Home stuff a couple of years ago, but the internet was so bad that it, nothing really worked, or stuff was such a delay, like turning the lights on and off, it was smart. It just won't work, so I can go, um, Alexa, turn left socket off. There you go. Alexa, turn left socket on. See how cool this is, so we've got smart lights. Upstairs, I haven't really done anything in the kitchen area yet. I still need to change that one. Anyway, so I wanted to get myself one of these, but this here is an iPad mini 2, which I've had for many years, which the kids, as you can see here, has dropped. Uh, so this stopped updating quite a few years ago. Uh, but it's been a blessing. When we bought the house, my friend Reese, who you guys will know from the other videos, who has the unit close to me, he used to manufacture these to fit within cars, so you could have that as your display, as your headset on, head unit, sorry, in like golfs or TTs, he does R8s, all that sort of stuff. And I said, can I, you manufacture me one for the kitchen? So I used to control the heating from it, I used to have Nest cameras, front and back, um, and also now you can do the smart stuff, but this is too old, it won't update, so this is where this comes in. Uh, this one offered the other day, I think it was 220 quid on Amazon, I think the deal's still on, so I will put the links below, depending on when this video goes out. So it's a big boy. It comes with a wall mount in, but it can also be sat on a kitchen side. It can go landscape and portrait. But for here, and it is quite heavy, that's struggling as well, that with left hand. That's going to be covering up there. So it's a bit height-wise, a bit short for me, but for the rest of my family, it's perfect, as they said. So I'm going to remove that, show you what's the ins and the outs are with that. I ran a lightning cable back and when, you can see the crack in this in the wall, sank that in. For some reason this wall is double inch, double boarded, it wasn't me, it was just the one we bought it. This runs up to any, uh, an old immersion heater uh, socket, which I, someone had put a socket on, not me, again, years ago, which I just plugged it in. So it's the same thing, I'm going to take this off, snip this cable off because we have to glue this in, draw up, we'll use a multi-tool, which is down here, draw up. Multi-tool that out, we've got the hoover as well. Maintain all my work mats and my dust sheets and everything at the unit. This is my house, so <laughs> let's say make as much mess as I want. My other half's just done the washing and it's all on the table behind, so not too much mess. Right, let's pull this off. So this has been sat on here for seven years. And I've not pulled it off since, so. So you, someone has, so this is what is in the original wall and then someone plasterboarded on top, hence you can get it. And I'd like to say you could, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be that lucky. Say so maybe stick a rod up, but there's, the gap isn't that big to be honest. Um, this was the thing, so RT, RTA, Reese's old logo. But yeah, so magnetic basis, so this allows you for in cars as well. He adapted this and made it so you could slide the go uh, the iPad in here and then charge it. But there were other ones where it was magnetic where it would just lock itself into place. <clears throat> Very cool. This was glued on, so this was me having to glue it in place. As you can see, there's a mite fix. I'll have to snip it. Right, so with that off now, it does just break off. Um, this is the new end. So obviously this is the plug for up top. This is the new end, but even with the gap I've got, that won't go up there, so we're gonna have to I might as well redo this chase and cut this bit out so when I fill it, I can fill it better this time and make sure it doesn't crack uh, and go over. I was just looking as well, so this is the bracket that it comes with, obviously arrow up. <laughs> it's just, it's just lipping on. What I will do is, because I think you'll be able to see these edges because of how chamfered the, the edges are here. So I'm gonna, I've got a big tub of filler, I'll we'll stick some stuff in, but we'll get the pencil line marked up. Don't wanna do it too thick, I only need it wide enough to fit the cable in. And then uh, figure out the top bit, because we're gonna to have to obviously do a bit of a screwdriver push through just to get the end of the adapter down, because we're gonna to have to feed this down the wall. So we need it big enough for that to fit through. 
and hopefully not damage the ceiling, but once again, it's my house. I'd like to say I'm going to sand it, fill it, sand it and paint it today. But I guarantee the next video I do within the kitchen at some point in this next year, 2023, you might still see the filler still on the wall. Can't promise anything. It's thicker than I wanted it to be. <clears throat> it's not what she said. Um, but I'd rather do that so I can get a chunk of filler in it and it'll be interesting to see how deep this goes, to be honest, because if I can find a picture of me doing it, I'll stick it on the screen now. Um, it worked out really beneficial for me that this was double boarded because I was going to have to SDS this framework in. Where have I put it in? To the depth of it. I would absolutely love him to make me one for my iPad Pro, my 12.9 inch. But then again, why would I need that if I've got this now in? It would make no sense. Excuse the mess. Before I get shouted out from my other half watches this, there's still Christmas stuff lying around. Thank you. We've just had to turn the Hoover off because the other half, I bought the other half um, a robot Hoover, like mop and everything, which is sick. But he's just come out and then hit me in the foot. I was like, Shh. we called him Ken. Nice. <laughs> do you know, I definitely chose the right time to do this when uh, my other half wasn't here. <sighs> Whoops. I'd like to say I kept within the lines. So I actually put tape over it. Oh God, I was so clever back then. I don't even think I've hit the cable. Come on. Get off it. Get off. Oh, look at that. I can still use the lightning cable, not a problem. And we've got loads of room there. So, um, <laughs> I'll get Ken back out. He can have a, come on. Oh, there's banging. Right, let me have a look. Where are you? Right, I'm just going to open that bit up a bit because it's a bit of a thick boy, that one. Bottom of my airing cupboard, socket there. It's the old cable that came up. I didn't take these up, trust me. Especially that one, there's a piece of wood that goes over it. But we've just had a new carpet down. And the guy was meant to do in here, but well, never mind. So we should be able to see. Let me get my uni light. And there, where that cable goes down. We should be able to put the new one down. Fingers crossed. All right, just to be on the safe side, just put some tape over the end so we don't fill the inside of the uh, power cable up with any stuff. There he is. <laughs> this is my house, it's fine. It's absolutely fine, it's my house. <sighs> right, before we get any further and I start thinking about putting some filler in, maybe I might have to put bin up the top now. Mark this out, get this drilled on, and I can start filling these edges. As much stuff as we can just to hide up. All them bits. So everything's going to be drilled directly into the wall, but the lip of it will sit with on the plaster to keep it contained. Like so. All right. Marksman or pen, we should be able to get that down. All right, done the holes. This is the filler that I sort of use at work. There you go. One hit, wonder, lightweight filler. This is a bit of a big gap, or oh, similar filler the whole thing for this sort of stuff, but it'll do the jobby. I just need to give it a bit of a mix because it's it's almost like fluff, if that makes sense. I've just got a spray bottle and put a bit of water on that as well. Uh, just because I'm not sure how well it's gonna stick. Right, ready. It looks awful, but just bear with me. Oh god, I've just realized the cable's still up in the air. I mean, I don't even think you could notice. I honestly think I could wait. I don't even think when she comes home, she'll go, oh, are you going to fill that? I'll be like, no, 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 it's, it's, that's fine. Right, let's get this bracket on. And he's on, he's sturdy, filling, oh, easy. He's, tell my dad was a painter. I've picked up all the tips and tricks. Uh, sweet, let's get this on. Yeah. All right, plug this in. <laughs> This is great for camera angle for 
you know, when you wish you left a bit more in. Excuse me. Right, and then it just... Oh. Right, I'm gonna get this plugged in upstairs, but all the filler I crammed in either side, do you remember that? Absolutely not necessary whatsoever. You can't see it whatsoever. So that was really, that was really, really cool. Well done, mate. It's just a really expensive photo frame. It's my dad. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. Boom. Like I say, I'd preferred it like this high, but it is what it is. Um, I'll put the link below for it. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Something different. If you were to mount this on a stud wall, so much easier. But obviously, it's not. So hit the comments. Hit the like, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the new year. Take care now.